right, sorry it's been a while for us. We have uh, been really busy and we've had a cold for the past couple days. So we're on our way back up north. We're going to Rushylvania after we have lunch at this awesome new place. Well, it's not really new, it's been there for a long time. Called uh, the Plaza Inn. It's amazing. It's up in Mount Victory, close to where I've been practically grown up near near uh, Kenton. I feel like this is more out west. Well, it's like north northwest ish. We uh, have been really needing to get out of the city. It's been driving us insane. This place, like here, I'll even show you guys. Hold on. This is our lovely traffic. like 10 times worse. So, we're going up there. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna film some more. We're actually gonna go to Rushylvania where I got some really distant cousin that was actually buried. He was in the Civil War. His brother and him were, buried, were in the Civil War, but one of them is buried in Maumee, Ohio, which is up near Toledo. And that's like two hours away as opposed to the Rushylvania cousin, which is like an hour away. And as a lot of people may know, we love history. I once we found out that my distant cousin from the Civil War is buried up there, I wanted to go so bad just to see it and actually see the cemetery itself because it's full of history. It's a really old cemetery. Rushylvania is well known for you know having older cemeteries. A lot of people there. Hey, look, it's Sutphen. Sutphen. Where they make fire trucks. I miss my beard. I miss my beard. It's okay. I got my beard. You got your beard? Your no shave November beard right there. Can't help it. It takes a lot of takes a lot of practice to look good. Not me though. It comes naturally. <laughs> Just look good all the time. Sure. Now if I could only get this to grow up here. <laughs> yeah, but then you wouldn't be Devin that we all know and love. That's true. I might be a douchebag then. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll continue this video once we get to the plaza in area or if we see anything really cool. I'll, I'll start it back up here. Yeah, in plaza in. Okay, we're back. We are now at the restaurant. This place is completely awesome. They uh, actually have private planes that land here, sadly. There are none today, but you can see that they would actually land up here in this little strip area. It goes like back that way and out, and then they taxi in here to the grass. So Plaza Inn, uh, most awesome restaurant. It's amazing home cooked food. It's really down home. Are you coming? This place is awesome. This place is awesome. This place is completely awesome. We just we you love this a, place. You get full meal plus dessert for two people under twenty five bucks. Twenty five bucks can't beat that. Country yeah. Cooking. And then when we're done, there's an antique mall across the street. There's an antique mall across the street. This place is awesome. Go and see our people. Pretty good load. Pretty good load. Yes, you. It's sad now. That straw is sad. That straw is sad. It's sad. Why? Because you broke it. See, you broke it. Sad. He's sad but stiff. <laughs> <laughs> you broke the rules of engagement. Yes, yes you have. I did not. What are you doing? I'm recording. Oh, check this out. Check this out. Check the ears. Watch the ears. <laughs> the nostrils here. <laughs> you were so... 
I am not. I'm just different. When is different weird? Island of Misfit Toys. What? Island of Misfit Toys. Whatever you you bought me. Hey, you did. I, you let me put a ring on it. Well, yeah, that's that's the that's how it goes. What's well, true? You like my beard? One day it'll grow epically when I'm older. Exactly. Smile. <laughs> you enjoying that mountain, dude? Mm hmm. Yeah? Chicks and roosters. <laughs> oh, Over there's the boar's nest. Yeah. <laughs> Over there's the boar's nest. What? On the wall. Uh, well, we're at Young Over Chicks the and Roosters. Nest. And hens nest. And my thumb was in the way. Now do something. Do something good. See, I, I can flick my eyebrows and flare my nostrils and do something with my ears here. Let me help you. <laughs> Look what she can do. <laughs> Look. Totally looking away. Hmm? Let's check out everybody knows. No. Everybody wants to see what's up. With you. No one wants to see what's up my nose. What's up, what's up? <laughs> what? <laughs> We're just having fun. Real onion ring. You can't find that anywhere. The dressing is awesome. Um, some kind of French dressing. Yeah, you want to try a bite? <laughs> you skinned my onion ring. <laughs> That's good. Huh? That's good. Mm -hmm. It goes on my Hawaiian burger. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Is that like a... a um, pineapple ring in there? Yep. Yep. I know, right? Okay. Now we're on pie. What pie did you get again? I got the banana. Look how thick that is. Not nearly as good as that. I this know, that's got pure fluff on it, dude. Oh, mine's butterscotch. I had that last time. Okay. Chunks. That was a good chunk of banana there too, like actual banana in that pie. Show you it's real. That is delicious. <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's got like pure fluff on top. It's amazing, delicious mix. Got it. Yeah. My fingers keep getting in front of the camera. Are you sure on top? Are you ready? So good. That's an epic pie. I had that last time. It is an epic pie. You had the apple last time, didn't you? I did, and it was amazing too. I 
It's like we have to try different pies every time we come up with them. You can't help it. There's, There's she so had, many like, different pies. She wasn't even done. I cut her off when we hit banana. There were so many pies. Well, their apple and their butterscotch and bananas are so good. Look at that. That is a banana right there. That is a real banana. <laughs> Yeah, so just so that people know that we're not kidding. All that food that we just ate, including the two pies, just a little over $26 this time. But that's because we got different entrees and Devin got uh, onion rings. Onion rings. Which is an appetizer. <laughs> yeah, but she switched it. I know. Just a little over 26 bucks for all of what we ate. Awesome. Okay, see? Wasn't kidding. Not only do they have awesome food, but planes land here. It's always private planes, too. <laughs> now, we are on our way up to Rushylvania to go see the cemeteries. So we'll start recording here in a little bit longer. Okay, so we're back. And we found Rushylvania Cemetery. So now all it is is we have to kind of do our thing, which is basically we walk around, we look at different headstones, we kind of read them and see if there's anything interesting, which pretty much everybody's headstone is very interesting. I mean, this is a pretty decently sized cemetery. It's not huge like Green Lawn, but we're trying to find my distant cousin, William Henry Weber who was actually the older of the two brothers, of the Weber brothers, that were in the the uh, Civil War. And he was buried here. His younger brother, George, was actually buried in Maumee, Ohio. So let's go see what we can find. You ready for this? Ready. Ready for this. And I would think he would be buried further in the back because it's, it's a smaller cemetery and usually the the older headstones are more in the back so let's kind of see that one says I think World War II those are the World War headstones or markers I should say the uh and then this one's the GIR which is Civil War basically but that's John Paul Day Nellie and Carl. Well, the only thing you've given me was the last name, so. Well, it's Win William Henry Weber. That, sig that symbol right there, though, is a. Uh, what is that symbol in the oil lamp? Oh. What is it, the Shriners? I think it's Shriner, yeah. That's what I was trying to remember.
these ones though, these are the woodmans of the world, basically. There's a baby. And then he was a woodman. It's usually what woodman's um, headstones look like, are the big logs. goes back pretty far. <laughs> Jenny Hatcher. Of the American Legion man, he was a World War vet.
pause this for a minute. If we, when we find him, I'll start recording again. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So we couldn't find him. We found a few like broken headstones and whatnot. We're not entirely sure where exactly he was or if one of those were him. There's a very good possibility that one of them were. Um, it was kind of, it did kind of suck not to find him, to be completely honest. I was really looking forward to seeing his headstone and, and whatnot. I mean, we still have his story. We have it written down, documented by my cousin Steve. He wrote it and published it and everything. And we have his photo, so I mean, a decent way to start it off at least. We're gonna go back to Mount Victory and we're gonna go to that other random cemetery that we saw earlier on the way into the Plaza Inn. So we'll see what we find there. I mean we found some pretty interesting headstones. And they told pretty interesting stories. They will be posted to my Facebook. So always look for my Facebook. Um, yeah, so we're on our way back to Mount Victory. Yeah.